Hello and welcome to the show. Uh, welcome to a rather silly mini series that we are doing here on Beam. This is our version of Wacky Races, if you like. We have each selected a car and customised it and, and, and modified them uh, for, for maximum silliness, really. The only rules were they had to be at zero point, well, around 0 0.25 power to weight ratio. That's the maximum they could be. Uh, I have got a bowline with a door welded on it. Uh, yes, it is a ramp car, essentially. I mean, it's a bowline underneath, but it's going to be a ramp car in this. And these vehicles are going to go through a series of races from some sensible tarmac one, like this first race, to dirt, to drag races, to survival, to demo derbies, all of that kind of thing. And I mean, as you, you get the idea of what we're going on here. Ollie has a covert. It's got a 1.9 diesel, apparently, but it's like a big lifted covert thing. Uh, Rusky has that. It's a pigeon with six wheels at the back and no bodywork for reasons. Uh, Amy has got a big Grand Marshal monster trucky style thing. Lado has a double D series. In fact, this is a little bit like Gemini from Robot Wars. If it splits in half, uh, Lado can still drive different bits. If one bit breaks, can drive the other half. So it's kind of got its little special ability. Uh, Joe had a similar idea to me with a ramp car style bolide, only this one is powered by a jet engine. <laughs> Mine is powered by a V8. Joe has a jet engine. Although the ramp on mine does actually work a little bit better than Joe's does from testing, as we've seen. Impega has a plane. That's the Vertex. Well, it's more of a glider because there's no way to power the flight. But, uh, yeah, it glides. Uh, Shadow has a big Roma with some armor, including an Armco barrier on the side. Because why not? And that has a massive turbo as well. Brazen is so many colors with a double-decker car. Has got stabilizers. A little bit less likely to fall over. But it's still a double decker car. And finally, we have Zombie. Well, Zombie with the most sensible of the vehicles, really. It's a Roma. A stripped out Roma. Uh, but a fairly sensible one. Although, everyone here is on. Well, you know, a lot of the SUVs are on some off road tyres. I think I'm the only one, actually, on slicks, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I am. So. We will be good. I mean, mine is a very specialist car. That is kind of the point of it. It's a bit more of a specialist tarmac car. I know some of the stuff we're going to be absolutely terrible at. And, you know, we compromise with some of the bits because the front end of mine is going to be very low on the ground. Um, so, yeah, it's not ideal. We've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, well, I said, some of the stuff I can't will suck at, but, you know, this is about the, the whole point. The Wacky Races vibe is that we've got vehicles that have got, you know, some unique special abilities. Uh, we are going to immediately scoop Lado. Oh, I wanted to try and get past Lado. We did not. Oh, God, in Pega got a bump and a half. There's a little bit of lag going on uh, as we will try and go around the outside of Lado. So this is a five-lap race uh, around here. Uh... Can I get this move completed? Not quite yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm taking my time a little bit. Lado tried to outbreak the bolide, and it did not quite work. So yeah, as at the end of the day, this is underneath. It's just a bolide with a big extendy bit at the front uh, that can lift and scoop cars out of the way, but it can get caught on stuff. Uh, it's not ideal because of that. Uh, conventional engine in this makes it not too bad to drive. Joe's is very fast, but very difficult to control, essentially. Uh, we are coming up to the brigade of lifted things. Uh, can we get to the inside of Shadow's incredibly noisy turboed thing? We can, and we will pass. And that will be a position for us through here. Uh, now, Amy's vehicle is up next, who I promised I wouldn't try and roll over, but I'm not sure I'm going to stick to that promise. Uh, it's very easy to roll the Grand Marshal. I imagine it must be quite easy to roll the Romas as well. Oh, Covert has turned up behind us. Uh, right. I think I'm taking this a little bit easy at the moment. I mean, I don't have a huge amount of power. It's a, it's a fairly standard... Uh, oh. I didn't, I didn't hit that one, Amy. You were going up on two wheels on your own accord there. Uh, <laughs> right, we should get this turn fairly well. Joe has lost the lead to Brazen at the moment. Impega's having issues with the glider, wanting to take off, I think. Uh, oh, we've bumped Zombie. I don't know if we broke something on Zombie's car. Oh, God, it's got way more acceleration than I do. Uh, Rusky's in the way. Well... Rusky can get out of the way. <laughs> oh no! Joe has spun in the middle of the track. Joe's caused absolute chaos. We've got up to second now. I think Brazen 
might have got a big enough lead while we were fighting. I think I bent something in mine. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, now, is this a battle you really want to go into with your lifted truck here? Yeah, something's not quite right in my vehicle. <laughs> I didn't scoop it. We only dumped it. That's disappointing. I wanted to roll it. I've lost track of my laps again. Uh, I have a feeling I know what's about to happen in this battle. We should be clear of the Roma, I hope. Uh, all right. Come on, Bolide. The Covert's actually done quite a good job of following us. Basically followed us up through the field um, here, which is, yeah, good going for the Covert. Ooh. Back in, wanted to let go. Oh, co I say that, and the Covert's then got into trouble uh, <laughs> back there, which is less than ideal. Um, oh, we are going to have a little bit of understeer through there. Uh, yeah, okay. It's it's Second is the best that we're going to get here, provided we don't make any mistakes. Can't catch Brazen's vehicle. We lost too much early on. Um, what is that? And why is that there? Oh, Amy's fallen over and lost wheels. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. I don't know whether Joe did. I think there's a broken down jet car uh, somewhere. There's a wheel missing oh, around one of these corners. Rusky is still going. I mean, it's not going to be last place for that. Boop. <laughs> oh, broken a gear. <laughs> we did slightly boop a, uh, a Rusky out of the way. Pega's got issues going on with the flying car uh, in this one. Uh, I think we've got. I think. Well, I think we're onto the final lap now. Brazen is our leader in all of this. Oh. well. I mean, as I said, it, it mostly drives like a bolide. I can't really fault it too much. Through through this yet yeah, we were we kind of a little bit ensnared in traffic early on we didn't really use too much of the rampiness uh in it around here can we no i was trying to help that get back onto its wheels uh i think there's a little bit of a tweak in in one of the uh oh there is a the, a broken down ramp car in a very awkward place right there, uh, which I can't do much about. That's the one vehicle I really don't want to hit because it's quite low everywhere. Uh, and the Double D series, it's still circulating. It is it is still circulating around here. Brazen has claimed a victory. It's, it is a victory for the Double Decker car. It's going to be a second place for the Rampy vehicle. <laughs> and we have deposited Brazen off the track. That has broken our car, because we've wedged it in an Armco barrier. It looks like it's going to be Zombie in third. It looks like Ollie finishes fourth. The comment was right behind us. I don't quite know what happened to that one. Uh, Shadow comes home in fifth with the... Um <laughs> oh, I forgot Brazen was on a wheel. I'm sorry, Brazen. <laughs> yeah, Brazen is a lunatic and is playing on a wheel at the moment. I did slightly forget about that when I went to launch the car off the track. Uh, it looks like the Double D series, it's... It's had an... Oh, dear. It has had an accident somewhere <laughs> along the line. Uh, well, I think there's some desync damage in that, but Lado is finished, at least, which is something. Well done, Lado. Uh, Impega is still going, and Impega is going to cross the line. Um, still, still probably got a lap or two to go, but Impega will finish because Amy and Joe are out. Uh, they are. I don't, didn't see what happened to them. The Grand Marshal, it has wandered a bit. I don't think that was where it was when I hit it. And, yeah, the jet engine bolide has broken down somewhere along the way. Big hit has gone on for that jet engine bolide, by the looks of it. But there we go. That is the first round. <laughs> oh, the first round of madness has happened. And it's a victory for Brazen. We shall move on to the next and see what happens. We have come to a derby arena for our next event. I'm not I'm not so sure my slick tires are gonna work here, but uh, yeah, we've got the kind of mud sort of the mud king of the hill, if you like. Uh, you fall in the pit, you're out, your car breaks, you're out. Um, I mean I've <laughs> I've got some strengths with the ramp car, mainly being that we can launch cars. I've got some big downsides in that I'm a bolide. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bolide and there's three lifted vehicles, a D-series. Even the cover is kind of... 
probably stronger than me. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm a little bit worried about what might happen uh, to my rear wheels. Oh, I think I have impaled an impega. Oh! Well, Amy has attacked us and gone flying. I think I really... I don't have a great turning circle because I've got drag tyres on the rear. Uh, oh, no. We are in trouble here. Uh, okay, thank you, zombie. That was much appreciated. The reverse actually dragged me. Uh, oh, I've got some... Some, some weirdness is happening. Um... I'm not sure I have much control over my car anymore. Physics is happening. I'm not supposed to be out here. I can't turn around. Our cars are stuck together. Zombie! <laughs> Things are happening. Um, maybe not reset there, though, because you've now just reset in me. Uh, we've broken the game. I'm going to have to drag my car back and F7 it. So it keeps the damage. Um, I don't know what occurred there. We did slightly get scooped out. They just got stuck together. So there is a little bit of a downside with this mod, of course. Because we've got a lot of weird parts, sometimes strange things happen like that. I probably didn't. I saw an opportunity to ramp a lot of cars and I took said opportunity. Um, I think something's happened to Zombie's car. I think it may be possessed. Uh, uh, there's so much debris around here I am legitimately very concerned. Uh, scoop an ollie. Did we scoop an ollie out of an arena? I don't, I don't know. I can't see. Uh, can we... Oh, can't scoop an Amy because an Amy's fallen over on their own. Um, don't reverse into a truck. Oh, Amy's upside down and stuck. And I am crash welded to a shadow. Uh, we are free of a shadow. Uh, launch a glider. We can launch a glider. I think Zombie might have busted steering. Uh, I think Amy's gone in the pit. Uh, Brazen's missed Ollie. And I sense an opportunity for a twofer. I sense an opportunity has gone wrong. Oh, no. And I'm clicking on. I'm still not technically in the pit. Now I'm in the pit. Oh, dear. <laughs> there was an opportunity for getting two cars out. <laughs> and it's going to... Oh, Shadow fell in the pit as well. <laughs> Shadow wins, but... Yeah. <laughs> Shadow wins. I think in Pega's second, we fell in the pit. Just... We were third. I think Brazen only fell in as well. It became a bit of a mess on that one. And Zombie's driving around in circles with that. I'm going to presume broken steering in our, in our weird little dance. Uh, Amy managed to roll on their own. Tried to climb out. Could not. Uh, we didn't see what happened to Lado or Joe in that one. Bloody hell. <laughs> the demo derby with this lot is weird on Rusky fell in the pit at some point too. Um, yeah. Well, the ramp car, it could have gone worse actually. All things considered, it could have gone worse. I got a bit carried away. We got a little bit wedged. And it's still a good finishing position. We have come to a figure eight circuit for our next uh, next round. Ten laps on this tarmac figure of eight. Uh, I don't know what the hell we're going to see on this. I mean, my car should in theory be quite good. Brazen's double decker is likely to be quite good as well. The cars that were good at the go-kart track will probably be quite good here. Um, uh, However, it's a figure of eight. If we get hit on the crossover by the D-Series or one of the lifted trucks, we are going to be in trouble. Now, we can roll cars out of the way quite well here. We have probably got a lot more grip than quite a lot of these cars. Uh, so the reason why I'm also not revving the engine up is this is notorious for munching its gearbox for reasons. So, yeah, I'm a little bit careful of uh, launching too hard. Oh, don't get crash welded into Shadow. That would be a good start. I was kind of... That was a half thought of trying to roll Shadow, but I opted not to. Uh, my understeer through here is quite a lot. Uh, Rusky is going to wait at the crossover because Rusky does not want to get hit. Now, the jet engine car is currently leading the way. Uh, can we go for a... Oh, there's a D-Series. There's a D-Series! A D-Series has got us round. Uh, that's less than ideal. That is less than ideal indeed. Um, bugger. <laughs> now, 
we are going to have to go for it. Joe has had some trouble. Joe has dropped back. The Covet is actually leading the way. There's been a big crash over here. Amy's fallen over, and Lado Karma has got the better of Lado on this one. Uh, oh, oh! Well, that was a laggy bit of a, a Lado. There may be some crash welding have occurred. Uh, I am not 100% sure on that, but never mind. Oh, I've got a twitch going on. I'm going to kill a Rusky. Not, in, not, not aimed, that one. I got some oversteer and the twitch just sent it that way. There is some debris has been picked up. Joe is having issues. Impega is in the middle of the road. Joe's vehicle is astonishingly quick and Joe's vehicle's very crashed now. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's not so good. Uh, right. Oh, well, we're going to scoop a Rusky out of the way again. We're trying to chase down Zombie, I think, for about third. Uh, we're hoping other vehicles get involved in accidents. Uh, that would be ideal. Uh, right, oh no. Maybe don't do that. Well, I think that's broken me. I think any chance we have is broken. Oh, yeah, well definitely now any chance we have is broken. I've nicked one of Impega's wheels. No, 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 we've got going again. It's fine. Um, oh, I don't steer very well. Yeah, I've got some real steering issues. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> Lado's got half the car working again. Don't <laughs> uh, mind me, I've got one of Impega's wheels. I've got stuck on Lado. I think Amy... Did Amy dance that back onto its wheels? Possibly. Brazen is here. Ooh, hopefully we can launch Brazen. Yes, we've launched Brazen over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the ramp car's abilities, goddammit. We've got to make the most of it when we can. I'm a little bit broken around here. A lot bit broken around here, actually. Uh, so, but there was an opportunity to launch a brazen, and the opportunity was taken. Uh, Ollie's broken down. I'm going to guess the half shafts have given up again on that one. Uh, Amy has almost fallen over once more. Uh, slightly gutted we didn't end up DNFing. Brazen's vehicle from the roll in Pegas struggling with steering. I mean, yeah, I've, my front left's knackered. Uh, trying to scoop one of Lado's... One part of Lado's truck out of the way was probably a bad idea. Uh, zombie is... I don't know if Zombie is leading now, whether Brazen is leading now. Lado's around. Funnily enough, that doesn't turn very well anymore. Um don't really want to hit in Pega's car because I don't want to grab more bits of it. Uh, oh dear. I, I know, I am very well aware the frame rate is not great at the moment. We are asking this to do some very silly things. Uh, we've got a lot of heavily modded weird cars and, well, they don't really like this all that much. Brazen's had another spin in this one. I don't know if we are... I don't think Brazen's lapsed us. So I think this could be legit for position. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Oh. Hey, Impega. Oh, no. Physics, why? Okay, we we get really stuck with cars. But <laughs> we, if we don't hit them perfectly, physics really does have a bad time with our vehicles. Shadow's playing it safely back there. I am not close enough. Has zombie finished or broken down? No idea at this point. It is just the, it is the, it's the new game of have you crossed the finish line and is it race over? Or have you broken down? Uh, we are going to chase down a Lado again, who is still circulating and rotating. Uh, come on, Bolide with no front left and, well, an extra wheel of Impegas pretty much there. Uh, I'm going to guess this is the finish line here. Um, I don't actually know. I, I believe that that is me finished. As far as I'm aware, we didn't go a lap down in that one. Ugh. It's not a great showing from us. Broken steering. Oh, the steering's got fit. Was it debris? Well, don't tell me we drove that entire time like that because of debris. My front left really wasn't turning. Uh, still not quite. Uh, it does turn better now. I think we had bits of Impega in our car. <laughs> it's the problem. <laughs> Impega's upside down. Oh, it didn't quite go so well for me there. That was hopeful for the Bolide. How however, it might not have gone great for us, but we did roll brazen. And sometimes it's the little victories that matter. And now I've stolen brazen. I'm not stolen brazen very quickly, unfortunately. 
but we have stolen a brazen. But there we go. Yeah, not the best round for me. However, some fun was had. Oh, the next challenge for our very silly vehicles is a long jump competition, and this is good news for Impega. Starting from this line, they will all the cars will race down to the big ramp in the distance, and whoever goes furthest will win. Now, <laughs> there's a, well, that's a, couple, a couple of caveats. So when the cars land, they are going to bounce and roll and twist around. It's not where they initially hit, because it's very difficult to measure. Uh, it is where they come to a rest at. Now, Impega, of course, has the big advantage. We're letting Impega go first, because the frame rate isn't great for them, and this thing is incredibly difficult to control. Um, but, uh, yeah, the... The advantage, of course, for the glider is that, well, it can glide. The disadvantage is it wants to take off before it gets to the ramp. As you can see, it is hopping along here and up. It's so graceful. However, it's got no power in the air, so the nose does not want to pull up. It's not bad, though. It's not bad for Impega. It smashes into the ground. It'll be 250 meters uh, that it'll come to almost 260. That's actually quite a good run, considering we're limited in terms of, of power for these vehicles. It was very graceful. The glider is the one to beat. Uh, the other little caveat is some of us, like the Bolites, like mine, and Brazen's Double Decker, uh, they can get kind of split in half. Whatever the furthest bit, if the Bolite gets split in half, is the furthest half. If Brazen's Double Decker gets split in half, the, you know, whichever car goes furthest is the bit that counts. Uh, Rusky is up next with the little trike. I mean, it's light. Light is actually a good thing for this. Uh, lightness is helpful because, well, in theory, it should accelerate up towards its top speeds very quickly. I mean, it's not got any aerodynamics. I do worry about the uh, aerodynamic properties of this quite a lot. But here we go. It is up into the air. <laughs> it's done a backflip. It's twisting. It's Oh, it's shattered itself in midair. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> it's actually quite a good, it's actually a really good jump. It, it, there was so much stress going on with the vehicle, it tore itself apart in the air. I've not seen that before. It's almost 300 meters. That's honestly going, they, these two, I mean, they expected Impegas to be quite good. These two could actually be really difficult to beat. Uh, certainly for the big heavy SUVs and stuff, they're going to struggle to beat this. I mean, it went slightly off course. Can't really blame Rusty when it was twisting around that much in the air. There's only so much you can do. <laughs> Spectacular attempt. Up next, we have got Amy with the big off-road Grand Marshal. Uh, it's... I mean, it's loud, it's powerful, I am sure, but... Uh, it's not going to fly very well. It's very heavy. I think it's some two and a half tons or whatever, if not a bit more than that. The fact that I have not having to speed the camera up too much says all you need to know about it. It's up into the sky we go. It's slightly skew whiff and gone off course a little bit, and it's on to the ground it goes. It will roll. It's busted the steering, and it will come to a rest. It's 170, just, just shy of 170 meters for... The Grand Marshal, yeah, was never likely to be its strongest event. It's just too heavy for this one. That's why I said, Pega's run with that, that glider is, is going to be quite good in this. Yeah, big hit for the Grand Marshal, and it is uh, yeah, run over. What will the Double Decker be able to do here? Brazen's vehicle has been quite strong so far in all of this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to see from this one. The plus point it's got is it can fling the top car into the uh, <laughs> the down down the runway. And we have said that that does count with these. It's definitely quick. It's not going to be very... It might twist in the air. It's not going to be very aerodynamic, so we could see it twisting and flipping. It's a big jump. Actually, no, glided quite nicely. Not as well as in Pega's car. It's going to smack the floor... And it is about 220 is the further of the two cars. Yeah, I, perhaps 
what we were maybe expecting to see a little bit from these vehicles. It was a better flight path than I thought a double-decker car was going to get. It didn't wobble and twist in the air whatsoever, uh, but it has landed, yeah, about 225 for that. Still doesn't beat Impego and definitely doesn't beat the weird trike thing. Now, this is a real wild card here. We have Joe's jet-engined Bolide. If this thing gets going, my god is it fast. It's going to go a long way, but it will take it a while to get up to speed. The other concerns is, will the ramp part cause issues with the floor when it hits the jump? Is that going to lose a load of speed? Oh, it's really motoring now. Will it twist around in the air? I don't know. It's up! Oh, it's gone. It's gone very long. It's gone really long. <laughs> it's going to clear everything. Yep. Yep. It didn't have problems. It's That's a huge jump. It absolutely exploded into pieces. That was an astonishing jump for the jet car. It's in many pieces. I actually thought at one point it was going to get into the oval. That would have been amazing if it had. Great effort great effort it twisted which was not what it would have wanted but yeah that's uh there's not a number for that joe no i, I think we have our winner here <laughs> i don't think anything's beating that but we <laughs> we, we are, we'll give we'll give joe four points um that's uh that's quite a jump right there now we are not expecting this to necessarily jump the furthest. We think this might be the heaviest vehicle here at some three tons. Uh, but it should be a spectacular crash. Honestly, that is what we are hoping for. Um, we are <laughs> we are hoping for a big a big accident. Uh, maybe some disintegrating D series. Is, 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 is. We'll see. Uh, it is off and underway, not very quickly. Um, I feel like something might not be working in that properly. I feel like it's not quite... I feel like that started quicker in other events. It's starting to pick up some pace now. This is... Uh, we might not get the big crash that we wanted from this, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, <laughs> but here we go. The Double D Series is going to fly through the air and come down, I imagine with a humongous crunch i'm not sure it was quite happy in that one i feel like that was struggling just to drive it got 60 which is something uh not a huge amount but it is it is something um yeah it didn't disintegrate and split a half which is a little bit of a little bit of a shame up next is the big old turbo diesel covert with ridiculous wheels and everything. Uh, this should go a decent distance. It's If it doesn't shake itself to death, um, there's lots of... I did... There we go, it's off. Uh, <laughs> it, it, has, it has launched successfully. And it is... There's that turbo noise going on. It's got some pace to it as we head down here so we're, i'm expecting to see a distance of probably around the 200 220 meter mark from this one a bit like brazen's if it doesn't oh that's a interesting flight actually quite a good flight path it's flying nice and flat and it was fly oh well never mind it was flying nice and flat and level for most of it and then at the last second it twisted it spat out its engine <laughs> well there's the engine for it yeah, it was going well, and then it stopped going well, and now it's just stuck its tongue out, and the engine fell out the bottom. It has beaten brazen. It's got about a 230 mark, uh, which is not a bad, not a bad showing for the covert. Still can't beat, still can't break into the top three. Can't beat the glider. Can't beat the kind of trike and Joe somewhere a long way in the distance. It is time for some more turbo noise there it is shadow with the big diesel roma that's so much turbo there is more turbo than engine in that pretty much um all right there we go it'll launch very soft suspension it uh, sets off it is underway down the drag strip now it's it's quite quick suspension is good it shouldn't lose too much time kind of compressing it on the ramp it might not have about uh, the greatest flight path in the world, would be my concern. And indeed, it has not quite... Oh, 
Oh god, it's exploded into bits! <laughs> All four wheels fell off. <laughs> bits have gone everywhere from Shadow's vehicle. <laughs> that was a great that was a great run. Oh dear. It's not quite made the 200 meter mark. It's not done too badly. But uh Oh dear. <laughs> That's one of my favourite attempts, just with the way it broke apart on the landing. That was wonderful. But yeah, it beats Amy's Grand Marshal, but uh, that is about it. Well, it is slightly less turbo noise, and probably slightly less weight. Up next, on beat with the second of the Romas. I'm expecting a similar performance, really, from this one. Probably around the 200 metre mark. I'm hoping it disintegrates into many little pieces on the landing again. We'll see if the wheels can all ping off of it as we hit the ramp again. It's not a bad flight path for the Roma and it's going to come down Oh, in a very similar place. It actually bumps into Brazen and that is about it. Again, it detonated its wheels everywhere. They went flying about. Uh, but yeah, it goes a slight bit further than Shadow but, you know, we're talking about 20 metres uh, however, cannot beat Brazen's double-decker. And finally, it is time for the bolide. I have got genuine concerns about the door uh, if it gets caught on the ramp. So we saw... Thank you, thank you, Brazen and Impega. Uh, we saw Joe made it, no problem, but I am concerned that uh, we might have issues. Our, our front end is actually lower than Joe's, so we could get stuck on the ramp if we can make it up the top. I would be very happy. We have made it up the top. Okay. Oh, we're doing a front flip. Oh, that's bad. Well, we've got some style points involved. Yes. Twist. Twist. Launch bits of... <laughs> Bolite. <laughs> what a landing. <laughs> Do I get style points? Do I get... We did, we did a backflip, landed, disintegrated, and did a roll, all before landing on our wheels. Um... That was amazing. <laughs> uh, that, I wasn't expecting that. I think it's fourth place. It is going to be fourth place. That's actually a pretty damn good, considering how much we would have lost in terms of the doing a backflip. How badly aerodynamic our car, or unaerodynamic our car, was there? That was ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, I like that run. I'm happy with that. Even the half of the parts, even both parts of the car ended up fairly close together. Uh, so there we have it. Well, Joe is clearly the winner. Jesus, that is remarkable how far uh, Joe's vehicle has gone. Apparently, while, while we were setting this up, Amy has done some calculations. That's 480 meters Joe has got to. That's almost double everyone else. Um, yeah, Rusky just got shy of 300. Uh, Impega is third with the glider. Uh, we managed to get fourth. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Uh, Ollie is fifth ahead of Zombie. Then it was... Oh, there's been a reset. Uh, there was a brazen, actually, sorry, between Ollie and Zombie. And then, yeah, Shadow, Amy, and Lado would round out the rest of the field. Well, that was a fun, very silly little competition. So, as the first half of our wacky little tournament draws to a close, here are the point standings, and it's safe to say it's very close at the top of the table, in fact. Well, the top three are tied on points. Shadow is leading the way. Now, this is separated by virtue of best finishing positions. Both Brazen and Shadow took a victory. Shadow has a second place. Brazen has a uh, next highest place of fourth. So, Shadow is at the top, Brazen is second, I am third, having not a round victory, but we are tied on 56 points, and there's only six points back to Zombie and Impega. It's very close at the top of the table here, as well as we kind of hoped with this, different cars are performing well in different events, which is making things very, very interesting. It's a little bit further back uh, that we find Ollie with that big diesel covert. Joe is seventh, having done astonishingly well on the long jump, but had trouble, often with the engine blowing up, uh, <laughs> down in seventh, is a point ahead of uh, Rusky's weird little contraption. Again, strong scoring on the long jump, not so great everywhere else. Uh, Amy ends up in in ninth with the big off-roady Grand Marshal, with Lado's Double D series not quite working so well in 10th. Well, there we go. That is going to be it 
for part one. Stay tuned to find out what happens next as, well, yeah, there is an awful lot to play for going into the second part of this tournament. It's going to be it from me, though. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye. Bye.